Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK, quiz number 276. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs, and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IVPS, etc. I'm Nitrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which of the following Sultanate rulers made Delhi as capital in place of Lahore? Correct answer is Iltutmish. Shamsuddin Iltutmish was the third ruler of the Mamluk or slave dynasty of Delhi. They were of the Turkish origin. He was a slave of Qutubuddin Aybak and later became his son-in-law and close lieutenant. So he is the one who shifted uh, the capital city from Lahore to Delhi. Which of the following Mughal emperor is famous for his golden chain of justice? The correct answer is Jahangir. Mughal Emperor Jahangir was well known for his innovative policy of chain of justice. According to legends or uh, what uh, came as word of mouth, Jahangir had placed a long golden chain with bells on his palace wall. So, uh, if people wanted justice, they could just go and ring the bells. Loom was a central technological innovation in which of the following era? Correct answer is Sultanate era. So, Indian textile technology seems to have flourished from medieval period up to Mughal. The looms employed for weaving in several materials of silk, cotton, wool and zari. Um, so, this is the time when it began. Who among the following wrote Ashta Sangraha? Correct answer is Vagabhatta. So, Vagabhatta is one of the most influential classical writers of Ayurveda. Several works are associated with his name as author, principally Ashtanga Sangraha and Ashtanga Ridaya Samhita. The best current research, however, argues in detail that these two works cannot be product of a single author. However, since we do not have a lot of proof from those times, we still consider him the writer of Ashtanga Sangraha. Who among the following is famous for saving the empire from the Una tribe, which had over in Asia and Europe? Correct answer is Skandagupta. Skandagupta was a Gupta emperor of northern India and is generally considered revered as we find proof in the Bhitari pillar inscription of Skandagupta. He defeated the Pushyamitras who were a tribe settled in central India but then rebelled. He also crushed the Huna invasion in 455 AD and managed to keep them at bay. Mudra Rakshas is a work of Vishakhadatta. This work was depicted uh, which of the following? So, what did this work depict? Correct answer is the Mauryas and the Nandas, specifically the rise of Chandragupta Maurya. The Mudrakshasa is a Sanskrit language play by Vishakhadatta that narrates the ascent of the king uh, Chandragupta Maurya to power in India. The play is an example of creative writing, but it's not entirely fictional. It is dated uh, between the late 4th century and the 8th century CE. So, you cannot take it from, uh, word by word it, that as it's actually a play. So, there are dramatic elements, but mostly we consider it as a source of historical data of the rise of Chandragupta Maurya to power. Nalanda University was founded by which of the following? This is easy. We know the answer is Kumara Gupta. And uh, so, at its peak in the 7th century AD, Nalanda held some 10,000 students and 2,000 teachers when it was visited by Chinese scholar Shuang Zhang. Historical studies indicate that the university was established during the reign of Gupta Emperor Kumara Gupta. Bark caves near Gwalior represent the paintings of which of the following era? Correct answer is Gupta era. The Bark caves are a group of nine rock cut monuments situated among the southern slopes of Vindhyas in Bark town of Dhar district in Madhya Pradesh state in central India. These are renowned for mural paintings by master paintings of ancient India and are a, a source for information of the Gupta era. Lord Clement Attlee was Prime Minister of England at which of the following events? Correct answer is India's independence. So, uh, India's independence somewhat co uh, coincided with the Second World War as we all know. Now, uh, Churchill was the uh, credited figure and then Prime Minister during the Second World War and at least succeeded uh, Churchill and uh, India's and independence coincided with his term as Prime Minister. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.